why is it that when people uh, are coming to represent, uh, you know, the Palestinian issue, at the top of an interview, they have to have their humanity uh, uh, cross-examined. They have to present their moral credentials. You know, do you condemn? And we don't see, uh, you know, Israeli officials being asked to condemn. And when they are, you know, you just people are readily accept it by our right to defend ourselves. I have never seen a Western official say the sentence, Palestinians have the right to defend themselves. And so, you know, we are, we are seeing this. When um, even in Western democracies, you know, uh, freedom of speech is apparently a universal value, except when you mention Palestine. When people gather to, you know, to, in support of Israel, they're exercising their right to assembly. But when they gather uh, for Palestine, they are deemed terrorist sympathizers or anti-Semitic, you know. So, you know, you're seeing uh, these, these double standards and, and it's creating a lot of dis disillusionment in, in the Arab world and in many who are just seeing the injustice. And I just want to emphasize, uh, Christian, that at the end of the day, there is no military solution to this issue. Wars are never won. There, there are always losses on all sides. Victory is a myth that... Uh, politicians make in order to justify immense loss of life. 